Texans out in front. Yeah, I remember two years ago, and I'm sure you do too, that triple overtime contest. And uh, Georgia got behind by a pretty good bit. I think it was like 20 to 4 or something yeah. like that. And really had to fight to get back in it, but they did. And it went to three overtimes, and that had to be one of the best ball games I've ever, I've ever witnessed. And even again last year, it didn't break and become a 6-7 point thing, as it turned out, to about the last two and a half minutes. No, it was close all the way. These two teams are evenly matched, even though Tech has the ranking. I mean, if you break it down matchup for matchup, there's really no overbearing situation in the starting five, Larry. I mean, they're both very close. Uh, the keys are obviously the, the matchup with Bernard Davis and Travis Best and, and James Forrest and, and Carlos Strong. I think those are the two biggest ones to watch tonight. Uh, Tech's three-point shooting might turn out to be a very important thing. At least it usually does in this game. They usually hit that outside thing. That's true. They do. They're shooting uh, 32% from the three-point line. Georgia a little bit better than that. Uh, almost 36%. Georgia's got an incredible shooting percentage, though. 53% uh, on the season and uh, scoring a lot of points. They're 16th in the country in scoring. Almost 94 points of all game. But, of course, as you know, that's been racked up against some uh, lesser teams. All right, Georgia Tech primarily clad in dark navy blue almost to black with some white and of course a lot of gold with the writing and the numbers and the dogs all in white white tops white bottoms a lot of red trim a little black print so it's white against a dark navy blue and Tex Ivano Newbill a 6'10 senior going to jump against Claxton they throw it up and Claxton tips strong has it kicks it back to Bernard Davis and Georgia comes down to set it up Davis at the point on the left wing to Cleveland Jackson who drove in a circle didn't take it and then to Shannon Anderson pressure on him then back to Davis outside he got a screen didn't use it Anderson now rolling around to the right and over on the right they go to Cleveland Jackson who goes left they cannot get in into the key back outside to Bernard Davis who calls a different number and the dogs are going to try something else they better hurry up Cleveland Jackson open long jumper no good rebound tech knocked it out of bounds give it out to Georgia or in the early moments, dogs couldn't get in, Scott. No, they couldn't. They kicked it out to Cleveland to shoot from the outside. Georgia gets a break with a rebound, though. Dogs going to take it out. Shannon Anderson looking. Lobs it deep out 40 feet to Bernard Davis. Davis backs up outside deep. Travis Best out there with him. Tex in the zone. Cleveland Jackson to Strong on the left side. Shannon Anderson a long three. No good. Rebound underneath. Good. Cleveland Jackson put in his left hand. Tech wouldn't let him use the right hand. Dogs pressing. Shannon Anderson stole the ball as Tech kicked it out, and Georgia took it back within a second and a half. Davis, a long three. Good. And suddenly it's five to nothing early. Dogs pressing and trapping. And Tex Newbill trying to get it out under pressure. Managed to get it to Forrest, and then they got it over to Travis Best. Dogs leading five to nothing, and blocking foul call on Davis out front, out in the middle of the floor, and Dogs didn't like the call, of course. Got to really look for scoreboards in this place, don't you? Yes, Fine you do. Scott, turn around right now and try to find it. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Martise Moore of Tech will take it out to Ivano Newbill. Newbill gave it back outside to Barry the guard. Barry in the left to Moore. They went into Forrest. Left side jumper, eight foot, no good. A little best rebounded on the other side. Tech brings it out. Great pass to Forrest. Layup, no good. Claxon had the rebound. They knocked it loose. Claxon picked it up. They hit Claxon in the back pretty good, but no call. It's all right. Davis coming down the floor. Georgia leading five to nothing. Davis under pressure, started in, fell down, kept dribbling, backed up, came back out, drove into the lane and fed across. Cleveland, a long one, on the rim, no good. Shannon tipped once, twice, rebound, knocked out of bounds, and they'll give it out to the Dogs. Georgia leading 5 to nothing early. Dogs going to take it out. It's tough under the boards, you guys. Shannon Anderson will take it out for Georgia. Shannon and Carla Strong, 12-footer, threw it over the rim, no good. Barry the rebound for Tech, running on the far side. Barry drove to the lane, dropped it, came back outside, passed way across to Martise Moore. Defense picked him up, they go in the post, Newville back to Barry, long jumper, no good. Rebound, Claxton of Georgia, to Bernard Davis, and the men in white come down the floor. Long pass to Cleveland Jackson in the corner. Back out to Carla Strong, he's in the circle, he leans a one-hander, no good. Rebound, Newville. They knock it out front. Best of Tech might run. He's in the lane. He's on the free throw line. Good. A little jumper. Best hit his left-hander, and it's 5-2. to two. Dogs will take it out. They both want to run. Strong to Davis. Georgia coming down. Had to lob it over a defender. Best. Go back to Strong. Strong on the left side of Cleveland Jackson. They go into Big Claxon in the post. There's two men on him. He turned around and shot her off balance and missed it. Carla Strong tipped no good, and then Claxon got on a man's back, fighting for the rebound and fouled it. We are 5-2, Georgia, early. 
crowd is swelling and getting thicker and bigger as late arrivals are coming in. We are nowhere near a sellout yet. Tech's going to take it out, and George is pressing. Tech's buried to best. Dogs might drop back. Davis doesn't as best comes across. They rub him off on a pick. Long jumper hit the rim. No good. Rebound came back out to the other guard, Barry, and Tech's got it again. Moore, a long jumper over the rim. No good. Rebound, strong. Tech is cold. They're both cold. They've had a lot of shots. Shannon Anderson took a running pass in the lane, put it on the floor, and lost it. Tech took it away. Four mistake, Anderson. And down the floor comes Tech. Best outside, and he's a handful. And he got through everybody and fed force and catch the whistle. Shannon may have fouled him outside from behind. They went into force, and Shannon hit him outside. Both coaches up, walking back and forth. Tech's going to take it out underneath. Five to two, Georgia. We've gone, well, we really haven't gone four minutes yet into it. Tex Martis Moore, 6'8", sophomore forward. The best, open, left side, no good. Rebound, knocked the big force. Back out to the other guard, Barry. He's in the circle, bad pass. Rolled it out of bounds. He hit a Georgia man on the back. He went in with an underhanded pass, and there was two men in white, and he banged it off their back. Tech takes it out underneath. Moore will handle it in. 5-2, to two, George over Tech. We're early in the Omni, and the annual war thing. Deep outside, Tech goes to Newville. Back to Barry near the corner. Barry's on the left. He's coming out front. The best. And then they go to Moore, who starts in the lane, skidding off balance. And came back to force, and then it went to Barry. Barry outside. Tech working around, trailing 5-2 to two early. Dogs knock it loose. Strong knocked it back to Klatz, and they took it off the post, away from Newville and down the floor. The dogs come. Alley-oop. Bad pass to Anderson. Dogs threw it off the board, and Tech comes back. Georgia threw away an alley-oop. Best down. Wide open. Long jumper. Good, a three. No defender anywhere around him, and he cracked that three. And we're 5-5. Five, five. Well, Georgia can't have that tonight. They've got to get somebody in his face. Davis the Strong. Carlos Strong outside. Bernard Davis on the left to Cleveland Jackson. The Strong out at the head of the key, just behind the free throw line. Goes in the post. Claxon wheel around. Good. Nine footer. Claxon scored kind of off a high post. 7 5 Georgia. Tech kicks it out to Drew Barry. Barry to Moore, and they're across midcourt. Moore backs up, dribbling deep outside. 7-5, Georgia leading. Best to Newville. We're very early. To Barry near the corner. Goes into Forrest. Part of a post, and he walked. He shuffled his feet. Floor mistake. Check. Give it back out to Georgia. Dog's going to run Terrell Bell in and let Claxton take a blow. 7-5. Georgia will take it out after the mistake. Carlos Strong bounced it out to Bernard Davis. Bernard Davis trying to come down with Best all over him. He got around him and tried a little jumper in the circle. Good. Gave him a three. He got it off in the air before he landed on the other side. Davis hit a three, and the dogs lead 10 to 5. Best almost blocked it from behind. Tech working. Moore outside to Barry on the left wing. Barry starts around. And then they go to Big Four standing outside. The Best. Best. Then they call a foul on Davis, hacking at the wrist outside. Bernard Davis, who was a key to the defense out front. Yeah, Miller, that's two real early. Time called. Georgia leads 10 to 5 very early. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog. Larry Munson and Scott Howard and Miller Pope here in the Omni. And I think the crowd at the moment, I'm guessing, is only 10, 11,000 or so. There are so many people coming in late down the aisles. 10 to 5, Georgia leading. Got any shooting percentages at all? No, I, nothing they didn't, yet. They're not passing us that. I can give you some point totals. Bernard Davis has six points. He's hit two three-pointers. But he, he has, has two fouls. He's got two fouls. Well, we were talking during the break, Larry. That last one that there was called, is, as you said, was kind of a ticky-tack foul. And now we see Pertha Robinson's in the ball game. But I think you could have easily called that last one on best. He pushed off. Bertha Robinson, the young 6'1 sophomore from Albany, will have to take Best now. Tech working, and they got Fred Vincent in off the bench. They go back to Best, the other guard. Best with Bertha Robinson trying to stay with him. Got in the lane, forced open, slammed home a dunk. When he penetrated, we converged on him, and he made a great feed underneath. So Forrest hit off the low post. Carlos Strong outside. Starts around his man, drove in the lane and got in a little fingertip and then it slammed back in by either Terrell Bell or Strong. 12 to 7, Georgia. Bell, Terrell Bell tipped it in and it's 12 to 7. Best comes across for Tech. They're all in that dark navy blue and gold. Dogs all in white and red. Elisma also in for Tech. The Forest, they ran a pattern. Vincent blew a layup. He had Shannon Anderson bothering him. It's out of bounds. They're going to give it out to the dogs. 
Early on, Tech was only one out of eight. Man, that's a bad percentage. Georgia was four out of ten. 12 to 7, Georgia. Pertha Robinson has come down under pressure to Cleveland Jackson on the left wing. Outside to Strong. Carlos Strong holds. Goes to Pertha Robinson. Long three. No good. Rebound and Techman picking it up. Was going out of bounds with it near the right corner. Out on the wing. And that was big James Forrest. And Georgia gets it back as Tech makes another mistake. Dogs lead 12 to 7. They're down in their offensive end. Shannon Anderson kicks it out to Pertha Robinson. Back to Shannon Anderson, a long lob feed into Big Terrell Bell. He's going up, and they hit him from behind and block it off the board. No good, and a rebound is Tech, and Tech comes running. Best going to feed. Ball back, and then they feed back underneath to Elisma. Elisma blocked by Terrell Bell, and he knocked it out into the crowd. Tech went in there low. And they had Eddie Elisma, the 6'10 freshman from New York City, open, and Bell blocked his shot. We're still 12-7 after six and a half minutes. Tex Drew Berry coming in. Now we put Terrell Bell down, and we're getting Ty Wilson ready to come back in. Well, Terrell got about a minute of court time that time and one block. That's not yeah. bad. He's got 10 and on the basket, season. And a basket on the other end. Dathan Brown going to come in for Georgia also. Durham was milking that timeout with those substitutions to gain a few more seconds of rest. 12-7, to 7, dogs lead. Tex Drew Berry, they're on our offensive end trying to get it out. Barry bounces to Vincent. We trap him in the corner and give him trouble, and he rolled it off our leg out of bounds very wisely. He rolled it off Wilson's left hip, and it went out of bounds. And Barry will take it out again. Dogs in white, tech in the dark, navy blue. Barry got it out the best outside. Pertha Robinson trying to handle him. Tech another sub to Elisma, who's out there. Elisma kicked it on the right. They go in a double low post. We have a little bit of pressure on Forrest. Back out the best. We trap him. Elisma, open, layup, good. Claxton recovered too late. And they called a man in the back door. 12 to 9. Dogs come down. Dathan Brown and Pertha Robinson came down pretty fast. We try to lob inside, and Tech follows a pass. Forrest did. Dathan Brown threw it away. Tech is coming back. Best is in the circle. Back outside. They feed back to Best. And Best to Barry Crowth thought he walked to Best. He and Vincent work outside. Catch the call. Shoving around the free throw line. We went into Forrest. Ethan Brown committed the foul. It's 12 to 9. We've gone seven minutes and some seconds. And Barry will take it out. Five on George already. Miller, is that what you're telling me? Okay. Drew Barry, uh, Tech looking for somebody. They're out of bounds underneath. They threw a bad pass. It deflects. Comes way out front. Ty Wilson to Georgia picks it up. Is going to drive and go in the lane and got in and blew a layup. And I mean blew one. Put it up too hard. Blew a two and a half inch shot. And Tech comes down the floor. 12 to 9. Best shoves off. He and Pertha Robinson. Robinson's getting mad. Barry back outside. Big Forrest jumps in and out. No good. Cleveland Jackson rebounds for Georgia. We run it back down the floor. Pertha Robinson working. Back to Ty Wilson on the right wing. To Pertha Robinson outside. 12 to 9 Georgia. And we're early. Late crowd still coming in. To Dathan Brown on the right wing. To Pertha who crawled underneath. And he fed over. And Claxon hooked over his head and missed a two-inch shot in front. Claxon threw it too hard. We missed a couple of shots. It didn't total four and a half inches. 12 to 9. Tech kicks it around outside. Trying to come in. Vincent, and they get back to best and back out to Barry. Still 12 to 9. We missed two shots unbelievable on the other end. Elisma to Vincent. But Tech hasn't been burning it up either. Into force. Fall back jumper. Good. It hit the rim, went straight up and fell in. He was on the left baseline. 12 to 11. Tech with four straight points. Ty Wilson, a long one. No good. Rebound Barry of Tech down underneath. Tech is running back down the floor. Drew Barry down the lane to Vincent near the corner. A long one in and out, and a rebound. Everybody touches it. Dathan Brown of Georgia caught it. And Georgia comes back down the floor. Everybody trying to run. We go to Dathan Brown. Try to lay up, and they killed him under there. Forrest really on him. Brown was almost open on a semi-fast break. They're both moving, aren't they, Scott? Yeah, and Georgia is really attacking the basket, Larry. You talked about the two shots that they missed. That last one that Claxton missed. He was completely lost. He didn't know where he was under the basket. It was an easy uh, attempt, but he was just off center and didn't know where he was. But Georgia really going hard inside and uh, keeping keeping at it right now, and that's what they're going to have to do. Steve Jones, 6'6", six, six, sophomore in. Put Cleveland Jackson down. Dathan Brown will get two shots. He'll be on the line. We've almost gone nine minutes into this thing. 12-11. Brown, free throw. No good on the front rim. Shot a high arching ball that kissed the rim and came back. Jarrell Bell going to come back in. Grant Claxton will sit down. Dogs have three times, I believe, had five-point leads. It was 5 nothing early. 
And I know it was 12-7. Brown second shot. Missed it. No good. And the rebound is Tex Elisma. And quickly they give it the best. And he goes all the way down in the lane. Underhand layup too hard and high. Steve Jones had to hustle and fight for the rebound and got loose with it. Kicked it over to the other guard, Pertha Robinson. Georgia down the floor. Dathan Brown holding on the left wing. He drives into the circle. Leans in the lane and they block his shot. It's on the floor. Everybody fights and Steve Jones picks it up for Georgia. Gets it back out to the guards. And Pertha Robinson now backs up outside. 12-11 ball game. Bertha gives to Ty Wilson. They're running a pattern to Dathan Brown. Jones, a long jumper, no good. Rebound, Terrell Bell rolled up a middle, little layup, no good. Then they block an attempt for a tip. And it's at midcourt. Bertha Robinson took it away from the guards. So Dathan Brown goes up again, and he missed the layup, and they hit him. Layup after layup after layup will not go down in there. And I'm talking about little two-inch shots. <laughs> this is not a team coming down shooting the jumper, Scott, missing. They're missing little fingertip things. Now they're missing from two and three feet from either side of the basket, and they've got to make those shots, no doubt about it. But that time, anyway, they got the foul, and Dathan will go back and try to make up for those two misses he, he missed last time at the free throw line. Crowd is up to, I don't know, maybe 12, but no more than that, I don't think. Dathan Brown, who just missed a couple free throws, he hit that one, though it hit the rim and then the board and then came back down in. 13-11, we've gone about half of the half. Played nine and a half minutes. Dathan Brown, dog forward to get another shot. Good. 14-11, and Tech takes it out. Elisman to Drew Barry. Barry, a long bounce pass to Vincent on the left wing. Back out to Best, the guard. To Drew Barry on the right. He drove into the free throw line. Back to Best, a long three. No good. Rebound, big Terrell Bell high with it. Over to Pertha Robinson. Georgia back down the floor. And we threw it away while Pertha threw a long 40-foot bounce pass out of bounds in the corner. And Tech will take it out. Drew Barry going to take it out and gives it to Travis Best. And Tech comes down the floor. They're trailing 14-11. Best outside, backing a little, coming around the left wing, looking. Best dropped the ball under pressure by Pertha Robinson, comes back out with it. He's dribbling around again. Pertha trying to stay with him. They go in a corner to Barry, back out to Best. They got a little screen, but he fed off the screen into the corner. A long three, no good by Vincent. Rebound deep to the guards. Tex got it back again. Pertha Robinson stole it underneath. Bertha took it away from Martise Moore, and the dogs hurry. Dathan Brown, 10-foot jumper, short. He missed the rim and everything. All of a sudden, Georgia can't buy a basket. Tech hurries down the floor. They aren't doing it either. Moore in the post to Elisma. Bell knocked it loose. Moore picks it up, and it's out of bounds. Give it out to Tech. Durham getting upset with some of the out-of-bounds calls. Dogs going to get Anderson and Strong. Jackson ready. Time called. 9.27 left in the half. 14.11. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Scott Howard and I wondering about shooting percentages at the moment. I believe they're both bad now. The yep. flurries of misses have really been something. The last time out, Georgia was at 40%. Tech was at 12 and a half. They most might be around 25% when we get the next numbers, but yeah. and Georgia's just missed too many close inside shots. Every one of them in the paint, it seems like. Yeah. They both missed a bunch now. Dogs had a slightly better start. Tech really had some misses early. Tech takes it out on their offensive end. Moore looking. And Moore gets it out to Vincent. Vincent under pressure. Cleveland Jackson out there with him for Georgia. Vincent to Tech. And then across to Drew Barry. Barry on the right wing. Went with it over to Martise Moore. Back outside to Forrest. To Vincent. A long three in a corner. No good. Rebound. Pertha Robinson to Georgia. Stole it right out in front. Long running pass to Shannon Anderson. And they hit him. And he tried to hook it over his head. They fouled him. 14-11, Georgia. And the dogs will have... That's two on Barry, Miller Folk tells me. And the dogs will have a man on the line. Barry, we got the numbers. Georgia 5 of 25 in the uh, first half here for 20%. So they dropped a good deal. Tech at 28% from the field. 5 out of 18. they both sitting with five field goals. Anderson, free throw, good. Dogs lead 15 to 11. Shannon Anderson to get another free throw. Don't forget Saturday is a Kuppenheimer doubleheader on the floor of the Dome. Anderson second shot, good. 16-11, Georgia again. Third time, I believe, a five-point lead. Maybe the fourth time. Vincent got it out to Drew Barry, and Tech's coming down. 
Drew Barry comes across, set a little screen. They try to rub Perth off with it. And he goes on in and feeds to Elisman. The dogs pinch him and force a mistake, and he dropped it out of bounds. And the dogs will take it out. Carla Strong will take it out. Best and Newbill are coming back in for Tech. Travis Best, 5'11", junior. A great, great athlete. And Ivano Newbill, who must perform all year for them, the big center, if they are to continue what they're doing. And they have been nationally ranked since before it started. Bertha Robinson has come across. Bertha one way and the other. Travis Best giving him enough trouble out there as he pivots. He comes around him. Had a little screen, couldn't use it. On the left wing to Shannon Anderson. We lob it into the post to Big Claxton. He looks in the corner. Shannon along three. No good. Rebound. Best of Tech over to Drew Barry. And they're going to run. Barry down the middle to Moore. Moore. Jumper. Good. He banked an 11-footer to the left side of the board. And it's 16-13. to 13, Dogs by three. Carla Strong to Robinson. Back to Carla Strong. Georgia down the floor. They're all in white tech in that dark navy blue. Jackson in the Claxton on a high post to Shannon Anderson. To Robinson in the double low post. Strong turns around. No good. Claxton tips. No good. And the rebound is very hard by Moore of Tech. And they're going to semi-run a long alley. Who passed the forest and Cleveland Jackson hit him and fouled him before he'd slam dunk it. They almost alley-ooped a long 35-foot lob, and Cleveland deliberately fouled him under there. 16 to 13, 751 in the half. These two clubs are really playing hard physically after each other. That was a good foul by Jackson, too, because Forrest was going to ignite the crowd with a dunk there, and uh, Cleveland picked up his first foul, so he's got a few to give, but the uh, good play by Cleveland Jackson. James Forrest, 6'8", 240, the high-scoring junior. Free throw good. 16 to 14. Durham of Georgia pacing. Bobby Crimmins of Tech pacing back and forth in front of their benches. Forrest gets another shot for Tech. Hit the front rim. Fell off the right side. No good. And Claxon got the rebound. Shannon Anderson touched it first but fell down. Claxon caught it in midair. Georgia brings it down. Georgia all in white. And Bertha Robinson under pressure outside. Took it in the lane and fed over to Shannon. The long one. No good. Rebound Carlos Strong. Right in front. Eight footer. Good. He fell down. But slid on his fanny backwards. But he hit his jumper. 18 to 14. Dogs by four. Tex Best outside. Got into the free throw line. In trouble. Handed it back to Newbill who was out high with him. And then Best has it again. Tech working the big new bill. On the right wing they go to Barry. Barry starts around the lane and made a bad pass in the lane and the dog's got a break going with Anderson and Carlos Strong and Strong takes it in and scores on a fingertip roll. 20 to 14 and that's the biggest lead. Six points. Tech coming down. Best comes across. He's calling a number. All of a sudden the crowd is up roaring for the dogs. And they got some kind of what? Call a foul right out here in front? Yeah, they got it on Pertha. Pushing out front, huh? He and Best. They call a foul on Pertha Robinson, and that's number 17 foul. So they're in the one and one, 657 and a half. Travis Best, the high-scoring junior guard, to be shooting the one and one, 20 to 14. We did not sell this place out tonight. Best going to shoot. He takes his time, bounces it quite a bit, puts the left-hander up and hits it, and he's in the bonus for that. And Georgia Bench is mad because Newbill was really in the lane and had violated the stepping in the lane, but the officials weren't looking at it. Best to get another shot. He's spinning the ball around in his hands. Five-point game, 20 to 15, Georgia. Second shot, good, 20 to 16. Shannon Anderson will take it out, and now Tech is pressing suddenly. Shannon Anderson is strong. Back to Shannon Anderson. And Tech falls back on defense. Deep pass to Claxton. Out to Pertha Robinson. Georgia going to work. To Shannon Anderson on the right wing. Outside of Carlos Strong. Beat his man and got in. Made a bad bounce pass low. And went for Claxton's feet. And it went out of bounds. Dogs don't take it out. Boy, we made a bounce pass in there. Hit a lot of shoes. 20 to 16 Georgia. And dogs will take it out underneath. 644 to go and a half. Back out to Cleveland Jackson. Long one. No good. Back rim. He tried a long three and missed it. Barry going to run to Best. And Best is going to go right in the lane of the layup. He beat a man who was right with him. And the dogs save a wide pass. Anderson to Pertha Robinson to Anderson. 20 to 18. Shannon Anderson leaning. 10 footer. No good. Rebound fight into there in the corner. Tech finally. Big new bill caught it in the corner. And Tech down the floor trying to tie it up. Best threw it away underneath with a wild pass, trying to hit somebody breaking. 6-17. And he looked like Bobby Hebert out there that time. That was a bullet. 
Shannon going to take it out. Gives it to Pertha Robinson, and Georgia coming down the floor. Pertha getting long, extended minutes here as Davis got two fouls early. To Cleveland Jackson, the Carlos Strong outside. Strong around the right of the lane. Jumper, good. He hit about a 12, 13-footer. 22-18 Georgia by four. Best coming down the floor for Tech. The big Newbill who's out there with him. Newbill back to Barry. Barry in the right wing. Demartis Moore out front, and then they go in the post. Newbill hooks. In and out, no good. Rebound, Strong stole it as the big men fought each other and double foul call on Newbill and Claxton. They hooked each other's arms. They shoved back at each other, though the ball was already going down the floor. Foul on each, number 33. And the dogs had had the ball, and we're going to go down the floor. Now, what are they going to rule? They're going to give it out to Tech. Double foul. 5-43, 22-18. And the foul came after the dogs had the ball and started down the floor. The foul was a second or two seconds later, but they're going to give it out to Tech under there anyway. 5.43. Possession arrow, maybe. Is that what they're going to rule? There was no jump ball, no tie ball. Moore, Tech will take it out under their offensive goal. They're four down as Moore looks in the corner to Best. Best kicks it out to Barry. Barry, free throw line, doesn't take the shot. The Best outside. Best to Moore. Moore pivoting one way and the other, leaning into the lane, can't get in. Back outside to Elisma, to Drew Barry. Faked a long one and drove in the lane, blocked by Bell. Barry wound up on the floor under the goal. Cleveland Jackson down, hard jumper, no good. Rebound Bell once, no good. Saved then by Dathan Brown trying to save it. He and the Tech man fly into the bench, out of bounds, give it out to Georgia. Tex Barry has come down the floor limping. No, he's complaining to an official. And Vincent's going to come back in for Tech. And Drew Barry will sit down. 5-16 and a half. It's a little rough, Scott. Yeah, I think Barry got hit in the mouth. I think that's what he was complaining about. Georgia will take it out. And down near their offensive right corner. Anderson gave it out to Pertha Robinson. To Shannon Anderson. There are some people who look a little tired out there. Brown to Cleveland Jackson on the left wing. Georgia setting up and working. They go in a high post to Rell Bell. He goes down the lane, and then he just fights his way in and muscled in and hit a layup. He had to dodge that big body of his or twist it between two men, but went on in. I don't think they expected him to go in. I didn't. 24-18, Georgia, second time, six-point lead. They give it the best at midcourt. Best, Nemour in, underhand hook off, no good, and it's kicked out of bounds. Not quite out. Pertha Robinson saved it, and the Jogs have a long break. Layup, Shannon Anderson, good. Pertha Robinson and Shannon Anderson, a long break. 26 to 18, Georgia by eight. Georgia fans are up roaring in the Omni and getting louder and louder. Best in a high post to Moore. Moore to Benson in the left wing to go to Elisma in the post to Best. Open, long, off the rim, no good. Rebound deep to Cleveland Jackson to Georgia. And Shannon Anderson down, layup, good on a one-man break. A behind-the-back dribble to get away from Best. And the dogs run out 28 to 18. And this place right now has got a lot of red-clad people standing up and shaking their fists. 4.15 to go and a half, and the Dogs lead 28 to 18. Shannon Anderson was fouled on that play, and he will get one shot, a chance for a three-pointer. He's one of the guys that referred to a moment ago as looking tired. I thought Shannon was going to be out of control on that because yeah. the pass was way up ahead of him, and he did a great job to get possession of that basketball. As you said, he put it behind his back and got the finger roll for the, the two and the foul. So a great play individually by Shannon Anderson. Anderson gets a free throw. Good. 29-18, Georgia by 11. It isn't often in this annual single game they play every December, these two, that Georgia starts this well. Tech beat the press, so it wasn't an aggressive one. Got it over to Elisma, then to Moore outside. Now they run a pattern through. Moore starts in the lane and dropped the ball. And it's on the floor. Shane and Anderson picked it up. He wants to run to Cleveland Jackson. Lay up good, another fast break. Georgia runs out 31-18. to Timeout. The place is going a little nuts. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. A lot of noise in the Omni, and this place is nowhere near a sellout. Dogs lead 13. Pause, 10 second station ID here. Georgia Bulldog Network, a division of the American Network Group. News Talk 750, WSB Atlanta. Three fifty-five left and a half. 
Check will come down, and you've got 31% for the dogs, 28 for Tech. And Larry George has gone on an 11 to nothing run in the last two minutes to break this game open and for the moment. And Tech just made a floor mistake. We were in a full court press down on the other end, and as they came out, they made a mistake. May have been back and forth over the line. Georgia gets a ball down the other end. Tech made a mistake getting it out. They got the pass out, but the whistle was blowing. Dogs get it back out on that end. Dathan Brown pivoting in the corner. He's dribbling out on the right wing with it now. He and Shannon Anderson were involved with the mistake. Back out to Robinson. Tech was going to take it out, and we were pressing them all over. 31-18 Georgia, a little eight and a half now. Cleveland Jackson in the left wing feeds Terrell Bell high post in the corner back to Cleveland Jackson. Cleveland looks, starts in the baseline. They won't let him in. Gives it to Dathan Brown, who came out of the wing to help him. It's out front now to Shannon Anderson. Georgia working. Do they see the shot clock? 31-18. Pertha Robinson starts around. Got in the lane. Fed Bell. Bell a little jumper over the rim. No good. And the rebound. Tech comes up with it. Forrest with it. And Tech hurries. Best. Went to Vincent in the corner. Barry bothered by the ball. Dropped the ball. Pertha Robinson fights him for it. It's knocked outside. Tech's got it. Throw a pass to Moore. And Moore hit Forrest. A good pass and a slam dunk underneath. For a while, they were both knocking it around about 30 feet away. 31 to 20. Tech's cut it to 11. Shannon Anderson driving, but a whistle blew under there. He stepped on the baseline. Yeah, stepped on the baseline on the right wing as he started in. And Tech will take it out. George acting like they're going to press. Tech has cut it to 11 with 2.54 and the half. Drew Barry going to take it out. Barry to Forrest, who went down there to help him. We don't press him. Barry comes down. Barry, a bounce pass underneath to Moore, and they call us on a blocking foul, I believe, because Pertha Robinson ran under there and took a charge where the ball wasn't around. He was blocking somebody. 2.48 and a half. Dogs lead 31 to 20. That's two on Pertha now also, so both of uh, Georgia's point guards have two fouls, but Pertha's going to stay in there, I believe. Boy, he's had long extended minutes in this thing, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's had some good workouts, Larry. As people tell me that, uh, you know, he's he's right up there with Bernard as far as playing time. It's just a, a starting thing. Bernard being the senior right now is probably going to start the games, but Perthen's going to get plenty of playing time. Moore gets two shots, misses number one. No good. Dogs in white, tech in that dark navy blue and gold. Martise Moore on the line. 248, it's 31 to 20. His second shot. Rolled out, no good. Hit the front rim, back rim, and then kicked back out front. He missed two, as the dogs did early. Georgia down the floor. Shannon Anderson goes in the corner, dribbling softly. Went in the post. Jumper, Dathan Brown, no good. Slam back by Terrell Bell on the other side. Terrell Bell up in the air, slam from the other side when Brown missed the jumper. Tech hurries down. They feed Forrest. He hooked it over his head. Good. And it's 33-22. It's back to an 11-point game. Shannon Anderson beats a press by lobbing over to Pertha Robinson on the other side. Dogs come across the floor, leading by 11. 33-22, getting a little late in the half. They go to Shannon Anderson. He's in. He banked it. He missed it. And the rebound Forrest of Tech to Drew Barry, and they want to run. Barry is down in the right corner, and Pete's Forrest going in. Layup, good. And was there a blocking foul on Bell? Big Bell, yes. Goal is good. It's 33-24. Tech has cut it to nine. Dogs had it out to 11 two or three times. Forrest, James Forrest, the big junior out of Atlanta, chance to make it a three-point play. Dogs going to run Steve Jones, a sophomore forward guard, in and let Cleveland Jackson sit down. It's 33-24, Georgia. And Tex Forrest will be on the line. They gave it to Claxton. Jackson. Cleveland. Foul on Cleveland Jackson. He's okay. got two now. Not on Bell. It's on Cleveland Jackson. Forrest shooting. Free throw. Good. 33-25. Eight-point game. Strong going to come in. And Dathan Brown will sit down. Georgia will bring it out with no pressure against them. Anderson to Pertha Robinson. 33-25, very late in the half. We're under two minutes now, about a minute 55 or so. Pertha Robinson, bounce pass across to Carla Strong. They knocked it out of his hands, but he picked it up. Got it back out to the guards. And Tex Drew Barry tipped the pass and stole it. Barry behind the back, running to Forrest. Slammed it off the board because Georgia fouled him. Barry went in, fed back. And Forrest got fouled, and his shot went high off the glass board. 33-25 with a minute 44. Dogs have had a lot of fouls called, have we? Yeah, they're, uh, what are they, up to 10 now. Tex only had five called. Forrest will be on the line. He's going to get two shots because they've reached the 10-foul yeah. limit. Number one. Rolled out. Man, it slid over the front rim to the back. 
came back across the net and fell back out. No good. 104 seconds left in the half. 33 to 25. Good. 33-26. He hit the second shot. No pressure. Georgia takes it out. Dogs in white coming down the floor late in the half. Got a seven-point lead now instead of 11. Go to Steve Jones in the left wing. High post strong on the right wing to Shannon Anderson. To Steve Jones almost underneath. Caught the pass as they fed him. And then he feeds Shannon Anderson who fought in the lane and shot off balance. No good. It's on the floor. Dogs had it. Lost it. Roll around. Everybody diving on the floor. Tech had it. Lost it. Terrell Bell rolled it back out and Georgia got it. Jones to Robinson. Tech didn't like that at all with men sliding on the floor with the ball. We feed Terrell Bell. He's fouled the shots off the bound and on the glass. No good. Tech's got it. And they're going to give it out to Tech under there. Shot clock expired. Shot clock expired. 33-26. What a roar under that board, and we couldn't get a clean shot. A minute and seven seconds. As usual, this is something to watch every year in December. They're going to wipe the wet spots off the floor where the bodies bounce. Boy, there were people sliding all over the floor trying to pick up a ball. Tex Drewberry will take it out. We are not acting like we're going to press him. We're going to let him get his pass in, but we are pressing the rest. They give it the best. The Forrest near midcourt. Forrest going to come across. Feeds Martise Moore. Open lane. Good. He had a little nine-footer to the left of the lane. And Tex Drew Berry had it stole, but fell out of bounds with it. He's cut in between Pertha Robinson and Strong. They were not looking. He stole it, but fell out of bounds. Georgia will take it out. Tex Press almost caused it, called it to be thrown away. Newbell is coming back in for Tex Berry. Sits down. Tech might be pressing now. It's 33, 28, 56 seconds in the half. And the dog strong bounces to Steve Jones to Pertha Robinson. Georgia coming down the floor. Now only a five-point lead, and the half is about gone as Pertha Robinson comes across. Pertha deep out in the left wing. Pertha looking. Pertha under some pressure by Best. He's still dribbling up front and is kicked off Best shoe and out of bounds. Under the pressure, and the dogs will take it out at midcourt. They let it roll down the other end. That means you get a couple of seconds to breathe. Bertha came over, and Durham said something to him. George are going to take it out at midcourt. Dogs under pressure. 35 seconds in the half, but only 12 seconds on the shot clock. The official is making uh, more of Georgia Tech stick his jersey in his pants. Shannon Anderson to Carla Strong. Do they see the shot clock to Shannon Anderson? We're late in the half. Shannon puts his head down, goes in and shoots off balance over the rim. Bad shot, no good. He may have been hacked a little. Tech is going to run. Bank off the board, good, and we fouled him. Martise Moore banked a running shot, and the dogs fouled him. Only 23 seconds in the half, and Tech on a great run here. They've cut it to three, and it's 33 to 30. This, as usual, is really something to see. Though they both want to run, and there's a lot of off-balance, leaning-in type shots, some of them with a lot of defenders around that maybe shouldn't be taken. Dogs getting Ty Wilson ready to go back in at a guard and let Steve Jones sit down. Only 23 seconds to go here in the half. Well, Tech's gotten right back in it, Larry. As we said, uh, Georgia went on an 11 to nothing run, and now Tech has gone on a 12 to two run to climb back to within three points. Tech's more. Free throw good. 33-31. Anderson or Robinson, dogs down late, late in the half, down to a two point lead. Now Tech is pressing outside. Shannon Anderson under pressure, looks Carlos Strong had to come out to meet him, and Forrest shoved him out there. Funny call, hardly any contact with 12 and a half seconds. Forrest came way out 40-some feet. Dogs will take it out. 33-31, 12 seconds. That's all that's left. Tech going to press. Ball at midcourt. Shannon Anderson lobs it to Carlos Strong. They got to see the clock. Gives it to Pertha Robinson, who goes over in the left. He has to see the clock. Bertha Robinson late in the half, got a screen, couldn't shoot. Now to Strong, Ty Wilson, a long one, in and out, no good. Rebound on the floor, they fight, that's the half. Dogs lead barely by the skin of their teeth, 33 to 31. Timeout, pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Dogs take it out as we start the second half, 33-31. Davis and Shannon Anderson working, and Tech has gone back in the zone. They started the game that way. Jackson to Strong to Jackson. Jackson's out at the head of the key now, dribbling. 
Bernard Davis cut around his man, didn't take the shot as he started around. He backed outside, then a strong out high and deep again. Dogs working, looking at the tech zone. In the corner to Shannon Anderson, and they try to go to the post, and Big Forrest blocked the ball out of bounds. Bulldogs going to have to set up a play in a hurry. They've only got nine seconds on the shot clock. Shannon Anderson out to Bernard Davis. Going around the right, I don't think he sees the clock. And then it goes to Anderson, and they feed Claxton. A little turnaround jumper, no good. And Tech's going to rebound in the corner. Newbill took a deep bouncing rebound, got it to Best, and Best hurries down the floor, and Tech sets up. Dogs didn't get the world's greatest shot out of that. Barry to Moore with a screen. Long one, no good. Rebound Claxton of Georgia over to Davis, and Georgia down the floor. Had one 13-point lead and a couple 11s in the first half and lost uh -oh. it. Leaning in, a little soft six-footer good by Strong. Strong came, Carlos down the right corner, got on the baseline coming in, and leaned around and hit it. 35-31, Tech down best outside high and deep to Newbill, who now runs under. They go to Forrest, and Forrest out of bounds, couldn't handle a bounce pass, and floor mistake, give it out to Georgia. Dogs will take it out, down underneath. They went into Forrest, part of a double low post. And he couldn't handle it clean, and they kicked it out. Georgia down the floor. They spurred it out to a 13-point lead, reasonably late in the first half, past the halfway mark, and then lost it. Strong to Jackson. Long one, no good. Rebound, Shannon Anderson, left-handed hook. He's fouled, but it was blocked also. I believe that was Martise Moore who blocked it, but there was a foul in there. Shannon Anderson will get two shots. Oddly enough, Travis Best had the foul call on him. He had seven rebounds in the first half, and the Dogs' Terrell Bell had seven. Those were the two rebound leaders in this game. Shannon Anderson to get a couple of shots. Number one, good. Georgia leads by five, 36-31. Early in the evening, they were flirting with five-point leads three, four times. Shannon Anderson to get another shot. Puts it up. It rolls good. It fell in. 37-31. Georgia has gone up by six. Drew Barry to Newville to Drew Barry. Tech is coming down. They got it across to Moore, who bounced it back behind him to Barry. And Barry's going to come across midcourt. Barry on the right wing. Went on into the post with it on the bounce. Newbill, but he kicked it back out to Forrest, who's high out at the head of the key. Forrest holding, looking, and gave it the best. Long jumper, good, but it's only a two. He hit a jumper about 17 feet, 37-33. Flaxton bounced it out to Davis. Georgia down the floor. Dogs all in white, tech in that dark navy blue. Shannon Anderson, the strong, who went in on the free throw line. Shot a little, little running, one but Good, he had about 11, 12 footer. Leaning, coming inside the free throw line. 39-33, Georgia. Early second half. And Tech down the floor. Martise Moore to Best. Best outside. Looking to Big Newbill. And then to Barry on the right wing. Barry starts in. Barry goes across to Big Forrest. Then to Barry out high and deep to Best. They ran a pattern. He came out and got the ball. He goes into Newbill with it. Newbill to a man wide open. They ran a pattern and got Drew Barry on a layup with no defender anywhere around him under there. 39-35. Georgia working. Anderson in the corner to Davis. To Carlos Strong in the free throw line. He went on in the lane. He leaned it no good, but it's tipped good on the left side by Shannon Anderson. Dogs lead by 6, 41-35. After a little fainting movement, Best comes down quickly. Then the Newbill, who's out high and deep. And then they go to Martise Moore in the left wing. To Barry outside deep. And they go to Best. And he went on in the lane and missed the layup that hit the back rim. And he was blocked and fouled as he went in there. His layup, an underhanded thing, he put up too hard and it came out on him. Strong fouled him, apparently. 41-35. First foul on Carlos Strong, Miller Pope tells me. Two shots for best. I'm guessing at the crowd. It's maybe 12. I don't really think it's much more than that. Travis Best takes some time before his free throws. Now he's ready, and he hits number one. 41-36. Travis is almost automatic from the free throw line. He's right at an 86% shooter. Tonight, he's three for three. Had nine points in the first half. Forrest had 13. Georgia didn't have anybody in double figures. Second shot rolled off the right. No good. Claxton got the rebound high for Georgia. 41-36. Georgia five-point lead. Georgia's got the ball. Bernard Davis working outside. Bernard Davis deep out front. On the right, he gives it to Anderson, who dropped the ball. But, but Strong in there inside, fighting strongly. 
Went back up and got fouled. Good play by Carlos Strong. Strong will be on the line. Had six points in the first half. 41-36. We played just about three and a half minutes. That foul's on Barry, Larry, and uh, that's number three on him. Strong free throw. Good. 42-36. Georgia by six. Tech going to get Barry and put him on the bench. And for the second time, Fred Benson, a 6'4 senior. Guard has come in. Isn't he a transfer? I think he is. Strong to get a second shot. Puts it up. Good. 43-36. And Tech will take it out. They roll it to Benson, who's out of bounds underneath. He's looking for somebody because we were pressing. He got it to Best. Georgia trying to give him some trouble. Best is going to come down. Bernard Davis trying to stay with him. Best one way and the other. Got a little screen. Couldn't use it. Flipped it across the forest. A long one. Too hard. No good. Anderson rebounds for Georgia. Throws a long, wild, bad pass. And Tex got it on the other end. Anderson rebounded and threw it too long. And we couldn't run a man under it. So we threw it away. Tech calls time. Dogs lead by seven early second half. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. In Tech spurt, the last three and a half minutes of the half, it ran their shooting percentages up to 40%. Remember how bad they were early? They wound up 12 out of 30. Georgia was 13 out of 47 and only shot 27 and a half percent. Remember that flurry of layups they missed in the last about five minutes of the first half. 43-36. So the dogs shot poorly in the first half and wound up with a two-point lead. But before that, they had spurted out. Big Terrell Bell has come back in and Claxton sits down. Seven-point game and Peck takes it out at midcourt. Vincent gives it to Best. Dogs right now are shooting at 30. Tech is shooting 41. That's current figures that just came down the tape. Dogs putting pressure on the guards outside, though we're in a zone. Vincent's open, doesn't take it in the corner to Moore. Moore near the right wing, bounces to Best, and Best fed a man underneath, hooking over the head. Forrest to layup. They ran a good pattern. We converged on Best, and he hit big Forrest coming down the line under. 43-38, Georgia by five. Early second half, dogs have the ball. Anderson fell over Davis, but he didn't travel. He got it to Carlos Strong, who drove in the lane, gave it to Cleveland in the corner. A long one, bouncing, no good. Rebound Bernard Davis of Georgia, stole it on the other side, and the dogs bring it back outside and set it up again. 43-38. Shannon Anderson under pressure, looking for somebody. Bounces to Davis outside. Bernard shoots a long one, partially tipped. No good, and the rebound. Tex got a long pass down the floor to Benson. He almost walked. He got it back out to Forrest, to Best, who passed up an open three. And to Benson deep. 43-38, five-point game, early second half. They go in to post a big new bill. Back outside to Forrest. They go to Benson. Tech working around the Best on the right wing. And the new bill deep. And then on the left side to Vincent, and they went back down to Forrest. He's wheeling around. He's shooting it off. Balance short. No good. We had too many men in there on him, and strong rebounds. Running past the Shannon Anderson. Jumper. Threw it over the rim. No good. Rebound. Bell had it, and Cleveland Jackson had it. There was a foul. Foul on uh, Moore, I think. Shoving on the rebound for Tech. 43-38. A little over. 14 and a half minutes. Not a shooting foul of any kind. Dogs get it out underneath there. Anderson is strong to Davis outside. Bernard Davis looking to Shannon Anderson on the left. We are still shooting for it. They blocked Shannon's pass, but he caught it again. The Jackson back to Davis. Boy, we're shooting for Bernard Davis out front. So Tech's up in the air with hands on a lot of that stuff to bother things. They're both really after each other. Strong to Anderson, the Cleveland jumper. Good, he had a 15, 16 footer. We ran a simple pattern and took a high post jumper. 45, 38, more of Tech under pressure out near midcourt. And they give it to the little guy, Travis Best, and he is something. The new bill out high. And then it went to Vincent in the left wing to Moore. Moore got in the circle with a one-hander. Up, off, no good. Rebound off Strong's hand and hit the rim and came off. Rebound Forrest. Good. Forrest banked the five-footer for Tech. 45-40. Dogs had and lost the rebound. Georgia getting Claxton ready to come back in. And the dogs come down the floor. Bernard Davis to Jackson to Strong in the high post. He drove in the lane and catch the call. They may have hit him going in. He came inside the free throw line. Tech's Forrest didn't like that at all. Foul on Vincent, I think. No, James Forrest. Foul on four. Bell sits down, Claxton back in. Dogs might have a man on the line with this one. 
Two-shot foul. Strong's going to be on the line. It's 45-40. Georgia leading. A little better than 13-30-something to go. That's a lot of time left. We did not sell this place out tonight. We didn't sell it out last year either, but this crowd, to me, at least looks a little smaller. Strong will be shooting. Number one. Good. 46-40. Georgia leading. The lead is six. Had a 13 and had two or three 11-point leads in the first half. Second shot, bouncing back rim, no good. Rebound, Tex Big Newbill. Ivano Newbill gave it to Best, the little guard. They come running to Barry, who just came back in. He's in the corner, he back out to Best. Best went in the post to Forrest, and Strong grabbed his wrist. As a pass came into him on the post, he wasn't real low. Strong grabbed his wrist and knew right away he had done 46-40, 13-26. Second foul on Strong. frenetic pace to this game. Official wants to wipe the water off the ball. That's how much they're sweating out there. Yet the ice is down under this floor. And when we came in tonight, it was really cold on your feet. Drew Barry to Ivano Newbill on the left wing to Drew Barry. Open corner. Good. A three. And it's 46. 43. If either one of these teams starts to finally hit the three, the other guy's gone because they both had bad spurts of shooting, but Georgia especially late in the half and in the second half. Davis, bounce pass is bad. Drew Barry had it and Best tipped it back to Barry who got down in the corner. He threw to Forrest and he slammed it home. Dogs got careless and Tech stole it on him and it's 46 to 45. Georgia has now lost the seven point lead and it's down to one. Bernard Davis brings it down the floor. Goes to Cleveland Jackson. We feed Big Claxton in a high post. Out to Shannon. Long one. No good. Boy, we're cold. Davis rebound. Dropped it out front. Got it to Shannon Anderson. Back to Bernard. He shoots a long one. No good. We can't hit anything. In the corner, Shannon fights for the rebound, but it's out of bounds. It is 46-45. Did they call Shannon on a charge as he shoved it out? I believe they did. Foul on Anderson as he knocked it out also. Dogs are ice cold. No, they're much colder than ice cold. They can't buy a basket. They cannot hit anything underneath or outside. This is not the game to go this cold. Yet they started strong and grabbed the leads. Tex Best coming down. Tex student body chanting at him. Best, they're down to only one down now. Got it out to Drew Barry. Barry out on the right wing. They go in the post and... Forrest, Forrest backs off and jumps short. Rebound Georges Jones to Bernard Davis. Dogs down the floor. One of the nation's top ten coming into town on the weekend. Carlos Strong, a running hook in and out, but Big Claxton, I think, tipped it in, or Shannon Anderson. May have been Shannon Anderson. 48 to 45. We missed a running hook, but Shannon put it back. We have to play Kansas on Saturday at 5 o'clock at the Dome on that doubleheader Kuppenheimer. Forrest almost dropped the pass at the head of the key as they're working. He's giving it back to Best. Best looking, working to Forrest on the left wing. And to Moore. Moore shoots a long three. Hits the rim. No good. A rebound came back to Forrest. He had a deflected pass back out to the guards. They go on a corner with it. Vincent in. Back to Best. Open. Long one. Good. Best rips a three. Tick starts to can that three. And they've caught us. 48 to 48. Georgia coming down the floor. As I said, if either one of them starts to hit the three, the other guy may go. Strong, because they've both been missing him. Strong across to Shannon Anderson. Tech fans just roaring here in the Omni now. To Shannon Anderson, the Strong at the head of the key. Shannon going in. They fouled him from behind. They don't call it. And Tech's got Barry running down the floor. He slams it home, and Tech leads. 50 to 48, and they call a technical on Shannon Anderson, who complained as the man came into him after Dogs suddenly really get hurt here in more ways than one. 50 to 48, 10, 49 to go. Durham comes out to ask them what is the call. That's a crap call, Larry, as Barry slammed it over Anderson. After he made the basket, he got in his face and bumped him a little bit. And Shannon, all he did was kind of like push him off to get out of his face. And then they call the technical on Shannon. That is horrible. Time call. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Munson and Scott Howard and engineer producer Miller Pope and the Omni and a rocking, roaring thing as it always is, Georgia and Georgia Tech. 50 to 48. 
We're shooting bad, Scott, and we had a little bad judgment on some shots, too. Yeah, we, I don't know what it is. I mean, Georgia came into this ball game shooting 53%, and tonight they've got to be under 30. Last time we had a stat update, it was 30% for the game, and it's certainly less than that after the first 10 minutes of this half, but uh, Tech getting away with some taunting and a few push fouls tonight. I don't think the game is being evenly called at this point, if you want to know the truth. Best will shoot the technical for Tech. So remember now, they'll shoot this and then they'll get the ball out. 50 to 48. Tech has led now. Is this the first lead? It might be their it is. first lead. First lead. And the official has again come over to talk to the timer. Georgia shooting 27%. They've had 63 shots to Tex 44. But the extra 19 shots they have all missed. Tex so, shooting 45. Talk about cold from three-point range. Georgia just two of 16 mm -hmm. from the three-point line, and that's uh, not too good. Durham has spent a long time talking with the official. Now the official calls the other two officials over. They still have not settled this thing. So Durham might be giving his men a little blow here. Letting him take a breath. I don't know, but he has stayed on this call. He did not like the way it was made. Well, maybe this delay will help Georgia a little bit because the momentum was starting to swing heavily in Tech's favor, so maybe the lull in the action here will swing back in the Bulldogs' favor. Durham making the officials explain to him what it is. Well, what it is is a terrible call. That's what it is. <laughs> 10.49 to go. So you got half a half. Hard to believe that late in the first half we had a 13-point lead and a couple of 11-point leads. Durham is still talking to the officials. Now he's coming back to his bench. Now Tech will shoot the technical free throw. We're going to be Anderson, Claxton, Davis, Jones, and Dathan Brown when we start to play, but we're not going to get the ball right away. Best on the line for Tech. The junior out of Springfield, Massachusetts. Free throw is good. There are NBA people who say he'll play, though he's only 5'11". He just hit number one, and Tech's got their biggest lead of the night, three points. His second shot, good. Now they got four, 52-48. Well, Tech has been able to overcome leads. Now we'll find out if Georgia is going to overcome leads. Tech's Drew Barry will take it out in midcourt. Barry to best. Travis Best working. It's 52-48. Best on the left wing to Ivano Newbill. Newbill comes out, and then the Benson, and then the Best. Best to Barry at the head of the key, didn't take one, then goes to Best on the right wing. Best out front to Newbill, and then they kick it to Benson. They go on the post, Moore jumped off, no good, but Newbill slammed it back in right in front with a hanging dunk, and Tech runs out by six, 54 to 48. Still half of a half to go. Davis working outside, gave it to Shannon Anderson, who's under pressure. Outside to Jones. Jones then went to Dathan Brown. Brown out front to Bernard Davis. To Steve Jones go on the post. Claxton, three men on him. Good. He turned around a seven-footer. And it's 54 to 50. New build to Drew Barry. Dogs trap him. Two men trap him. Barry across to big new build who's back there helping him. Newville starts up the middle, long pass to Moore, and Moore was fouled by Claxton, way out 40 feet away from the basket, who was coming out to put pressure on him. A needless foul. 9.48 to go, it's 54.50. We're getting into foul trouble early in this half, I guess. Tech took it out, Barry gave it the best. He's dribbling around people in the lane, got it in the corner, Vincent in and out on a three. Bernard Davis rebounded and couldn't control it and dribbled it on the out-of-bounds line. There was a man on him. He got banged on the back of his head by accident, and that caused his dribble to come high as he hit him, and he made a floor mistake, and Tech gets it out. Tech has got the momentum in their hands now, and it's for the first time. They get it the best outside to Newbill. They go to Moore, who's in a circle, outside to Barry. They go in a corner to Vincent. Vincent the best deep in the right wing, and they come out front again. Barry in the double post. Big Newbill back out to Vincent, who faked the man out. Screen, jumper, in and out, no good. And a rebound to Steve Jones. Claxton tipped it to him, and Georgia down the floor. We're four down, a little over nine minutes. Shannon Anderson to Dathan Brown. We go on to Claxton, catch the call. Newbill is leaning into him. 9-11 to play. Tech leads 54 to 50. Dogs will take it out. Forrest going to come back in for Tech. 
And Martise Moore will sit down. Georgia takes it out on the offensive end. They're four down. Tech had a six-point lead. Shannon Anderson looking. Anderson going to feed it out to Dathan Brown and out to Davis. We have to play Kansas Saturday, the number six team in America. Davis to Steve Jones to Dathan Brown out front and then to Shannon Anderson on the left wing in the corner to Steve Jones and Tech deflected a pass. He tried to feed Claxton on the low post. Tech knocked it out. Georgia will take it out into there again. 54-50 Tech. A little less than nine minutes to go. 8.56. We hit a lob way outside of the guards. Anderson to Davis, Jones to Davis to Anderson, and we go into Claxton again. Claxton under some pressure. Back to Anderson, who drove and kicked it way outside deep to Davis. To Dathan Brown on the right wing. They better look at the clock. Dathan Brown in, and he fed Anderson, who leaned it over the head. No good, but the follow-up, Claxton put it back in. 54-52, and Tex coming down the floor. Georgia getting subs ready. Drew Barry, they had to cut the two. He got in the lane. He fed back to Best, and then to Barry, and then the new bill underneath, who hooked it over his head and scored. Claxton got mad at one of his players because they didn't help him out. It's 56-52, Tech. Dogs come down the floor. Dathan Brown left of the free throw line. Going in, knocked the man down, and the shot went in and out. Offensive charging foul on Dathan Brown. Man, that whistle has really cracked us here tonight. 8.09 to go, and Cleveland Jackson coming in. Terrell Bell coming in. I don't know what the number of fouls are now, but we're starting to carry a little bit of a load. Ty Wilson going to come in from East over South Carolina, reserve guard. Georgia has six fouls right now in this half, Larry, and Tech has five, so they're fairly even, surprisingly. You know what the total is? Very long pass to best. Down the far side, he went around the lane under the net and dribbled it back outside so Tech could catch up to him and come down and set it up. A wise move. They go to Newbill out high. Big Newbill looks, saw it open, didn't start it in, didn't do it. Forrest, Vincent to Barry in the lane. Barry back out to Vincent. Vincent pivoting in the circle back to Barry. Screen didn't take it. Barry dribbling, gives it back to Best. It's 56-52. Tech, and they're going to feed alley -oop. Bad pass. Intended for Forrest off the rim and the glass, and George is down the floor. Davis, long one. Good. He hit a three, and it's 56-55. And one-point game. Newbell gets it out to Best, and Tech's going to come down the floor. Best coming over. 56-55. Travis Best outside. Their six-point lead is down to one. New build to Barry, the best outside. Screen, best, open, long, good. He ripped the three. Had a nice screen by a big man. And it's 59-56. And foul called on Barry grabbing as, a, as we were bringing it in. Barry didn't like that call at all. We were taking it in, and Barry grabbed and fouled. That's four on Barry. And Crimmins attack really didn't like that call. But the game is played under such terrific pressure against each other. The officials have got their hands full, and boy, we have complained tonight. 59-56, they got to put Barry on the bench with the four fouls. Foul count to uh, Larry, as I have him, 18 for Georgia, 12 for Tech in the ballgame. We are now 59-55, four-point game. Dog's going to come down strong to Bernard Davis. We have fallen four down. Though we were six down a minute and a half or so ago. We had cut it to two. Pass deflected out of bounds by Tex Vincent as it went over to Ty Wilson. And we'll take it out, out front again. 59-55. Seven minutes now. In the corner they go to Davis. Davis outside. Strong to Jackson. A long one. No good. Completely over the rim. Boy, did we miss that three. Best down the floor. Running. Went around. Got a screen to the right of the lane. Didn't take it. Across to Moore in the corner to Benson outside the best screen. He couldn't take it. Tex got the ball and a four-point lead. They screen for best and let him go to the baseline. He pushes it good. He banked it off the glass. He is something. 61-55 for the second time tonight. Tex got six points. Six and a half minutes. Davis down to Carlos Strong. Strong starts in the lane. Somebody hacked at him out front. Tex doesn't like that call. The players on the floor. Neither team is happy with the guys with the shirts. Four on Forrest. Miller says that's four on the big guy Forrest. Bertha Robinson in. Bernard Davis will sit down. That puts Georgia in the bonus, too. So two of Tech's key players, two starters, as a matter of fact, in serious foul trouble. Barry and Forrest, both with four each. Eddie Elisma, the 6'10 freshman in, and Forrest 
will sit down. Dogs who will have strong on the line with a one and one, and we're six down. Better than six minutes. We haven't had a streak at all in this half. Free throw, bounces in and out, no good. We blew the bonus, and Tech rebounds underneath. That hurts. Elisma over to Best, Tech down the floor. Best over on the right wing. Best under pressure outside to Newbill. Newbill looking, pivoting out front. Claxon out there with him. Newbill gave it to Elisma, who almost walked back out to Best. Best one way and the other. Claxon came out to help Bertha trap him. Best under trouble, leaning. Threw a pass to a man wide open, and Newbill slammed the dunk. Nobody picked him up after Claxon came out on the trap. 63-55. Tech now out by eight. Strong jumps in the circle. Good. He hit a 14-footer. And it's 63-57. to Georgia, however, has fallen six down. Tech down the floor. Five and a half minutes, a little better. Elisma working on the right side. Moore to Vincent. Vincent faked the long one. Gave it back to Best. Best outside to Big Newville. Standing outside looking. He's going to alley-oop. He went to Moore, who missed a little layup because he put it up too soon. And they say what? Strong fouled somebody going up underneath. Strong was on his back, I think. One and one now. Both of them are in. 63-57. That's three on Strong. Hey, rebound! Mm. Now both teams are in the bonus. Carlos picking up his third foul, all three of them, here in the second half. 5-23. Elisma will be on the line. He's going to shoot the one and one Now Georgia just blew one down on the other end. Freshman shot, in and out, and they blew one. And the rebound, Claxon saved it from going out and from their big men. And the dogs are coming down the floor. But we're six down, and the clock is starting to become a little factor. Better than five minutes, however. Jackson found a hole, drove in the lane across to Ty Wilson. He's going to shoot a long jumper. Good, he hit a three, just barely outside that line. Ty Wilson, 63 to 60, and the dogs have cut it down to three. And Tech's coming down the floor. Best outside. Best dribbling one hand, then the other. To Moore, long jumper, flat, bouncing, no good. Fight for the rebound, and who is the foul on, or who is the rebound? Is it our ball? I can't tell what he called. Yes, Jordan's ball. Dogs will come up with it, no foul. Jackson going to sit down, and we have got Shannon Anderson back in. 63-60, dogs have cut it to three. Barry's also back in for Tech now. Barry and Forrest. You remember, they're both playing with four fouls. Carla Strong bounced it out to Pertha Robinson, who's back in there. And Pertha, left-handed, brings it down. Best is on him. Pertha Robinson out front, looking, directing traffic. Now he's over on the left wing, dribbling. He got a screen. He rolled around the circle. Gave it to Ty Wilson. Open. In and out. He missed the three that went in and out. And the rebound is Vincent to Tech. And Tech comes down the floor. Vincent on the right wing. They lead 63-60. 4-21 to go. In the corner to Elisma. Back outside the best. Best working. Very open. Didn't take it. Went in the post to Forrest. Forrest backing in, turning, twisting, leaning with his left hand. In and out. Elisma had the rebound, but we hit him, I think. Elisma got the rebound. They missed the shot that went in and out, and then we fouled Elisma, I believe. That's going to be on Shandon Anderson. That's number four on him also. 4.08, says the clock. Got the one and one going. Elisma waiting. Well, this is the guy they want at the free throw line, Larry. He's only a 30% shooter, and he's 0 for 1 tonight. Bernard Davis trying to get ready to come in. Tex on the bonus thing again here. That foul happened on a rebound. Bouncing back rim, no good. Claxton high with his legs and elbows wide with a rebound. Georgia down the floor. Shannon Anderson to Pertha Robinson. Dogs are one three-point shot behind. The strong, going to feed in the post. Claxton layup, good. He got open underneath low. 63 to 62, 351, 350. And Tech comes down the floor, and it's 63, 62. Time, call, time out. We'll take it to these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Larry Munson and Scott Howard, you better hang on to this one. Something's probably going to happen. Call us 10 seconds here. Station ID, Georgia Bulldog Network, a division of the American Network Group. News Talk 750, WSB Atlanta. Why 
is this game always like this, Scott. Every year, right in the middle of December, the place it goes nuts. Every year it's like this. I think every meeting between Tech and Georgia is like this, uh, except for the football game this year. That kind of got out of hand at the end. All right, Tex Berry will take it out. Lobs it over in the backcourt to best, and now he dribbles back over the line. Tech is setting up. Their lead is down to one. Vincent on the left wing to Barry. Barry outside the best. Jumper in off. No good. Ty Wilson caught the rebound over on the right side of the board as you look at it. Pushes it down the floor. Gives it to Strong. Carlos Strong stops. And he double dribbled and made a bad floor mistake. He wanted to pass to somebody. He tried to stop his pass and then he moved his foot as he bounced it. His man was covered. He was going to pass it across. So we don't get the shot. Now Tech's got the ball. They got the lead. Look at the clock. 323. Best of Tech coming down. Best over on the left wing. Best over deep on the left wing. Outside to Barry. Barry across to Martise Moore on the right wing. He puts his head down and drives and shoots one good right on the right baseline. He hit a little soft thing. Tech shooting 44%. Georgia 33. Georgia's had 18 more shots in Tech and can't hit them. 65-62 to Tech. We're one three-point shot away. Wilson feeds Claxton. Three men on him and somebody hit him. What do we got? Catch the foul. Claxton had three men on him. Who's it on? It's on Best, I believe. Best didn't like the call. Going to have Claxton on the line, a one and one, and it's 65-62. 2.53. And Saturday, we got to play Kansas. You talk about frying pan and fire, huh? <laughs> The Kuppenheimer thing starts at 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Claxton on the line, shooting. Missed it. Back rim. We've blown two. One and one's a rebound out deep to Best. Best of Tech and Barry on a fast break. And a shot's blocked by Strong, and I think he fouled him with 2.48 to go, and that's four on Strong. Now they both have got a couple guys in bad foul trouble. We blew the front end of the one and one. Well, we've got 2.48 left, and right now both... Uh, Anderson and Strong have four fouls for Georgia. Forrest and Barry with four fouls for Georgia Tech. So you've got four key players that could go out at any moment now. Tech has missed six free throws. We've now missed 11 with that last one. The people keeping the official stats made a giant error on Georgia's free throws, and Scott Howard caught it. We've only missed four. Tech has missed seven. We're 11 out of 15. Tech's 9 out of 16. That 4 out of 14 really looked funny. Scott Howard caught it. I hope they caught it down at the table. But every one we miss at this point on, Larry, oh, looks yeah. bigger and bigger because there's only 2.48 left. 65, 62, and as usual, and you say it, I guess, every year in the middle of December, somebody is going to get their heart broken right here. This thing is always like this. Now they have corrected it, have they? They say 10 out of 15. They've got us missing five and Tech missing seven. Tech's got Drew Barry on the line, and he's one of their better free throw shooters. He and Best. 248, everything is big. Barry's going to shoot it. Number one, it hangs but falls good. Went front rim, back rim, and fell in at 66-62. There may have only been 10, 11,000 or so, or 12,000 in here tonight, but they've really seen something. Second shot, hanging, fell out. No good, Claxton rebound. He hit one out of the two. We're down four and coming down to four, and the clock now is starting to frown on you. Shannon Anderson got a screen, rolled around the right, gave it to Bernard Davis. Gave it to Strong out at the high of the head of the key. We run a pattern. Shandon open, long, off the rim, no good. Rebound out front. Best of Tech has it running. They're going to run a break. Forrest layup, in and out, no good. Shannon Anderson rebounded. We ring a long pass. We throw it away, and they intercept it on the other end more. And Tech's got four men down with a layup, and they score. 68-62. Tech blew a layup. Georgia threw a careless pass, and Tech came down four on one. And ran out by six, and now you got two minutes to save yourself. Strong backs in the lane and shoots good. He pivoted twice around and hit a seven-footer. 68-64, we call time to stop the clock. With a minute and 55, it's a four game. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Well, Tech by four. And they'll have the ball. Right now, Georgia's 25 out of 74, 34%. Text 26 out of 58, 44%. Rebound total, Georgia by 19. Now yeah, we're killing them on the board, but we're down on the scoreboard. Tech going to take it out. They've outshot us. We're pressing one man Wilson down there as Barry and Forrest and Best 
beat it, and now Tech comes down into 68-64. 109 seconds, man, and that's all that left. Best rolled a pass across, and we pressed him. Strong went on his back to pick it up, and what did they call? Strong sitting on the floor, picking up a ball. What did they call? They are going to give it out. Yeah, they're calling for traveling, sliding on the floor, apparently. And they're going to now wipe out a wet spot on the floor and give it to Tech outside. You're down to 103 seconds. 68-64. Man, you believe we led 11 and 13 late in the first half? Tech takes it out. Barry to Forrest, to Barry, and then out deep. Martise Moore. On the left wing to Barry. Barry working. They're going to milk a little bit of clock. They got a four point lead in the ball. We press. Best to Vincent. Long one. No good. Rebound Bernard Davis in front. Georgia coming down the floor, but look at the clock 80 seconds. Carlos Strong, pass into Steve Jones. They trap him, he got it back out. Shannon Anderson to Ty Wilson in the corner, out to Davis. We gotta watch the clock to Shannon Anderson on the left wing to Steve Jones, watch the clock. And we go to Ty Wilson, a long one. Good! And it's 68 to 67. Timeout with 64 seconds. It's a one point game. Now one mistake can kill you. It's 68 to 67. Let's take another time here. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Listen to the crowd standing, both sections, students and fans, in roar of appreciation for these two teams. 68 to 67 and a minute and four, and Tech will take it out, and we're going to press. But Tech's got the ball, and there's only 64 seconds. Barry to Best, the one guy you don't want to have the ball. Best coming up to midcourt, a one-point lead for Tech. Best working outside, Best. Pivoting and looking, dribbling one hand on the other, and then he got it over to Vincent and Vincent to Barry on the left wing. Barry outside to Best. Best. Bernard Davis trying to watch him. 14 seconds on the shot clock, now less than that. Best on the right wing to Barry, who's going in and feeding Forrest. Layup good. He got in and hit a layup. They drive in the lane and then they dish it off underneath. Tech 70 to 67, 33 seconds. Steve Jones outside to Bernard Davis. Ty Wilson feeding underneath to Steve Jones. Layup good, and it's 70 to 69. And again, Durham calls time to stop this thing. One point. 25 and a half seconds. If Tech doesn't make a mistake, Scott, we're not going to do it. But isn't this something to watch? <laughs> it's every, every single year, this is uh, one of the best ball games in college basketball. I mean, year in and year out, especially over the last five or six years. You know, nobody's left yet. The uh, attendance figures, as we are told, 12,911. So not quite a full house, but uh, at either Coliseum, that would have been more than capacity. Yeah. Well, they've seen something, and I imagine some may have felt it was going to run away with about five minutes ago in the first half when we led by 13 and led 11 for a while, and then suddenly Tech made that run. Boy, have we been a cold club, though we've cracked a couple of threes since. I don't know how many we have now. The paper they just threw over here has got Tech 4 out of 16, and we're 5 out of 22. No doubt about who Tech has gone to in this ballgame. Their top two players, their top two scorers, Travis Best right now with 22 points, and James Forrest with 21. Leading score for Georgia is Carlos Strong. He quietly has 18 points. He's only two away from matching his career high. And uh, speaking of career numbers, of course, Hugh Durham could get his 500th career victory if the Bulldogs can squeak out a victory here tonight. They trail by one with only 25.6 seconds to go. Strong is one of four guys in the floor with four fouls. Barry and Forrest and Anderson and Strong. Well, men, 25.6 seconds. Somebody's going to die. It's 70 to 69. Tech's got the ball in a one-point lead, and we're pressing. Barry, they get it to Best. Best will now hurry down the middle. But remember, they've got the lead. They're going to make us foul them if they can. And they go to Vincent, and we press and trap. They get it back to Best. We can't get the ball. And they go to Martise Moore to Vincent. Vincent to Barry. Ten seconds less than that. And they're playing keep away. And they go to Martise Moore to Best. And we foul with only 2.8 seconds. Davis made a lunge for the ball. Tech's got it, I think, unless they blow the free throws. But Best, I don't think, does that often. 
They'll go to the line, but there's only 2.8 seconds. Now, Travis Best uh, misses rarely from the free throw line. He came into the night uh, shooting 85.7%. He's three out of four tonight. Bobby Crimmins wanted an intentional foul call on that one. He went down to his knees begging for it. But as you said, Bernard Davis had to lunge just to get it. Tech has had great ball movement all night long, Larry. And that movement there in that last 20 seconds was something as they played keep away with men spread out deep. 70-69. We may have fouled a little late there, Scott. A few seconds late before we could touch somebody. 2.8 is not a lot of time to get no. it up the floor. Cleveland Jackson going to give it to uh, come in for Steve Jones. If he hits them both, they'll have a three-point lead. They'll probably press our inbounds so we can't get to midcourt and shoot a long three. So Best now gets two shots. Best to get two shots. He hit number one. 71 to 69. You realize the guys coming in Saturday are better than these? <laughs> Tech gets Vanderbilt at 7.30. We get Kansas at 5. Best to get another shot. We're going to have to come down in 2.8. He hit them both. Now Strong throws long down the floor to Wilson, and Tech tips it out of bounds with 2.2 seconds. Oh, that's a break. We got it down. We threw it long. 65 feet down the right side, and Tech had two men down with our man. We're going to try to get a shot at 72 to 69, but it's got to be a three or a three-point play. Shannon Anderson trying to get it in to somebody. Shannon can't get it in to Jackson as Moore cut in and tipped it, and it's less than half a second we got the ball. They tipped it out. We killed a second and a fraction. We couldn't get it in because Tech guarded too well. Now again, we're going to try to get it in, but we don't have a second. Seven-tenths of a second to get a shot. And a long one by Cleveland Jackson. No good, and the game ends. The dogs have lost a heartbreaker primarily by not shooting that thing well. 72 to 69. And Scott and I will look at the books.